Hello everyone. Today I am going to share with you a ordinary differential equation of order 1 and the name of that differential equation is exact differential equation. So before switching over to its calculation and finding the solution, let us see that what kind of differential equation is known as exact. So first one First uh, important point is that when you see any differential equation, we see in this form that there is a dx because the first order is always talking about dy by dx. So, but we see in this case the dx and dy written on the one side, and there must be something in the front of dx. I'll call it the m function and dy coefficient I'll call n function equals to zero. So, first uh, important uh, requirement is we see the function equation in this form. Now, when do we call it exact? If you see the left hand side part, if this is the total derivative of some function. Now, if you can find a function and you can say that the left hand side is nothing but the derivative of that function. And if you recall from the uh, total differential, how to write df of any function of two variable? The dx coefficient is partial difference of f with respect to x and dy coefficient is partial difference of f with respect to y. So, this derivative of f is equals to the left hand side. Now, if this is the situation, then we can easily see the solution of this differential equation is because this left hand side is df equals to 0. So, answer will be fxy equals to constant. Now, next we learn how to solve such kind of exact differential equation. What is the process or you can say what is the rule for that? Let us first discuss the necessary and sufficient condition. The necessary and sufficient condition for any differential equation to be exact is that first we, we see every differential equation in this form. Now whenever we see such differential equation, the dx coefficient I am going to call m function and the dy coefficient we call n function. And uh, to check whether it is exact or not, we have to only satisfy this condition and this is enough. What we need to do is pick the dx coefficient which is m and do partial derivative with respect to y. If the value is exactly equals to the partial derivative of n with respect to x then it means the given differential equation is exact. So as soon as this part is done we are in a position to find its solution. So there is a direct formula of calculating the solution of exact differential equation. How we can find out? There are two ways to get the answer. The one formula is you can uh, either you can use this formula wherein we take m the complete m part and do partial differentiation uh, so not differentiation partial integration with respect to x keeping y constant and uh, there is one more part of it what we need to do we see n but we won't pick the complete n we only pick that terms of n which is not containing x variable so if you see any uh, part of n which is not having x variable we pick that part and we integrate that with respect to y and equals to c. Now sometimes if you find m uh, integration tough we can use the other way. What is another way? We can take because you know this is the differential equation m dx plus n dy equals to 0. Now this the solution can also be obtained. In that case you can take n and do partial integration with respect to y keeping x constant. Now you do the same thing now terms of m not containing y variable and we integrate that part with respect to x equals to c. So This is all about the process. The first step is I'll recall the first step is check the condition if it's satisfied then we can find out the solution. So let's see some example. First example I'm taking that e to the power y dx plus x into e to the power y plus 2y dy equals to 0. Now let's see uh, what, what is m here. Here m function is e to the power y and n function is x into e to the power y plus 2y. Now we do partial differentiation of m with respect to y. So, what is the derivative of e to the power with respect to y is e to the power y and what is a partial differentiation of n with respect to x. Now, when you see x, so partial means here y is constant. So, differentiation of only this part. 
x so derivative of x is 1 e to the power y is constant and here 0 now we are observing that partial differentiation of m with respect to y is equal to partial differentiation of n with respect to x so condition is fulfilled therefore the equation is exact so the given equation is exact equation now as soon as we get it exact we are we can find out its solution so for solution i its solution is let's let's write down the solution it's integration of m uh, let let us write down the question because formula we all know that m and terms of n not containing x so i'm going to write down the function here let us write down the formula uh, function i'll take here m function is e to the power y and integrate with respect to x plus now uh, here y is constant now i'll pick those terms which is not containing x now if you see there are two terms in these two terms in the first term x is present i will not pick it i have to take those terms which is not containing so there is a one term so i'm going to pick that term and we integrate with respect to y equals to c the next step is let's do the integration e to the power y is constant integration of dx is x plus integration of y is y square by 2 equals to c so our answer comes out to be answer is x into e to the power y plus y square is equals to c so we got our solution now let's see the second example in the second example we are having m equals to let's see what is m here m is equals to 3x square y plus y by x and what is n here n is equals to x cube plus log x now what is the partial differentiation of m with respect to y y is here because 3x square is constant so in differentiation of 3x square y is 3x square into 1 and what is the differentiation of y it is again 1 so 1 by x being constant and if you see that uh, what is the derivative of n with respect to x so you get a 3x square the same term and log x so it is same so it means the partial differentiation of these two terms are same so it is exact equation we are in a position to find a solution so let's see what is the solution solution is take your m and integrate with respect to x keeping y constant and in the second term we pick those terms which is not containing x and we observe both terms are containing so we won't get anything over here equals to c so maybe in sometimes you get sometimes you won't get anything so I have only the first integral to handle and integration is partially it means only for x. So you see x is here, x is here. So what is integration of x square? So it is x cubed by 3 and these other terms being constant. By being constant what is the integration of 1 by x? So it is log of x and this 3, 3 will get cancelled equals to c. So our solution is x cube y plus y log x equals to c now i'm going to do the last question here in now i have to be very careful the dx coefficient i am calling it as m now if you see the dy is written in the front and dx is written on the back side so you have to be very careful because as per formula i am calling dx coefficient as a m and dy coefficient as a n so let us see what is m here m is minus of sine y minus of y sine x and what is n here n is cos of x minus x times cos of y so first we have to do partial differentiation of m with respect to y so what is differentiation of sine y so it is cos y so minus will be remain as minus cos y y is present here sin x is constant what is differentiation of y it is 1 so minus sin of x being a coefficient is constant now let's see 
what is partial differentiation of n with respect to x x is present here what is the derivative of cos x it is minus sin x and what is derivative of x it is 1 so minus cos y being a constant and we see that these two terms are same it means partial differentiation of m with respect to y is equals to partial differentiation of n with respect to x so we are having a exact differential equation so its solution now let's go to the solution its solution i have to take m so what is m here minus sine y minus y sine x integrate with respect to x plus terms of n not containing x so both are having x so i don't get anything over here and let's see what is here i have to keep y constant so minus sine y is a constant so integration of constant is minus sine y into let me write down here x because it's a constant and uh, minus y is a constant what is integration of sine it is minus cos so this minus minus become plus i write down cos of x equals to c so this is the solution